Hey guys, welcome to Fire Emblem Heroes. I've been a little spoiled in this banner, which I'm not gonna lie. What the fuck? But right now, the long lost, long, long lost as a king of special heroes to battle. And this is Nyla. Ooh, okay. Well, I got that right. I got it was Nyla. Kind of. I think that the, oh, what should I call it? The. Le the Greek thing. Why am I called the Laurel? The Laurel. I think that's what fucked up a lot of people, including me. Yeah. Huh. Whoops. Who the fuck is this skinny queen? Carla. Was it? Carla. Okay, those weren't feathers. Just fairly like, very Greco, like Greco-Roman kind of. Kinda dry. Kinda like your vagina, mama. I was right though, it was Carla. Wasn't I? Well, if only I put that as an actual guess and not like, uh, probably not. What? Baby Zane? Why well, he looks so young in that? Well, that looks way more accurate to regular Zane, not gonna lie. Also, we used two alts before a regular alt. That's kind of funny. Sorry. I guess he joins the Dorothea Club. Same type of banner, actually, for the January ones. It looks so aggressive for some reason. Azura and Mercedes? Who the fuck is that? Louise? Leanne? Oh. How did I miss the wings? And she's a cavalry dancer, so oh boy. Okay. Um. This unit seems scary. Talk about the ocean's gray waves, I guess. And what do you have? Right, so another, well, I mean, I feel like there's a lot of harmonized dancers, because I know whenever I do them for resonant battles, they always end up being dancers half the time. I have to admit, though, okay, so I was mainly spoiled in the fact that I saw who the five star for this banner is, and that was it being, I believe, a Dean. <laughs> I mean, I know it's because he's a singing bird, but like, or a heron, but still. I'm just so confused. Like, uh, is it actually Dean? It is. So why is Volug not here? Where's my wolf boy? I was promised a wolf boy by myself and my pure delusion. It's just, this is weird. Like, okay. So in Hatari, for Hatari specifically, which I guess in a way there was only like Tharia for the Plagian banner, but just Nyla? Why? We have, like, okay, there's three characters to be for possibly Hitari. Nyla, Volug, and then Raphael also spent some time there when Nyla was, like, resting him up and being the girl boss that she is. So just one is weird. I don't, it's just a weird choice. I don't know why you'd want to just bring the one. Either way, Red... Red Beast Infantry, I assume she's way better in ever- oh, fucking- I'm not reading that- than, like, Kiza ever is for a Red Infantry unit. Still, though, I mean, pretty good art. I can't complain. Sorry if you hear my thing going off. I'm recording this, like, 30 minutes after the fact. This is not a live reaction in the sense that I record it, like, five minutes after it goes live, or, like, the minute it goes live. This is a little delayed. But either way, pretty cool, I guess. I mean- She's got legs for days. I mean, I do like the body tattoos. Those would look pretty cool. And the colors just complement each other well. I like how it drapes in the back. But, yeah. I'm glad Nyla made it, and, and it makes a lot of sense for her to be here. Where her? Where's her little crew? I don't know. Okay. Royal Atari fame grants Kanto plus remedial plus one. I don't... It isn't remedial. I forgot what it actually is supposed to be. I just read it as remedial for some reason. If I just cool down trigger, my... Okay, slaying. If you initiate combos in safe space on the ally, where it's class level 5 unit, draws effects that guarantees close follow-up attacks and prevent units follow-up attacks during combat. And adjacent to beast allies gets the beast bonus. I don't know if this is how this compares to her regular Nyla thing, but it's still a good weapon. And Luna, Sturdy Surge, which... Okay. I guess I can Sturdy Shields for everything. Which, honestly, is pretty good. I do like these skills... I mean, I don't really have much of a use for them, like, but they seem pretty good. Oh, at, also, I just don't have them. But just having free free HP back, why not? Wolf Speed Defense and Glare. 
glare's been her thing it's pretty good at least on enemy phase for just annoying people to the wolves get it because she's a wolf i do like nyla though also i like a little hub thing it's just a very interesting choice to have carla too like i don't know it's I have nothing against Carla. I don't know if you will get the impression that I don't also I like Oh okay. So in the mesh they have the tattoos. Cute. I don't get people I like Carla, don't get me wrong. I think she's really cool and especially as a cameo character. God damn a Discord. But just an interesting choice for the theme. Like oh, she has no connection to Hatari in any way for a long lost civilization. No, it's not her. She's not from Well Sakei, but you know. It's an FE7 where they're not all dead. It would have made more sense if, like, Hell Lynn in this might have made a bit of sense. And to desert themes, she can never go to a desert. You recruit her too late into the game. I like how it's a spin on her regular outfit. Which, I mean, I if I ever do, like, a resplendent tier list, I will say, being bound to the original outfit but changing it up does usually look better than just the garbage splatter of, like, OC units. Like, that's why I prefer resplendence a little bit more in that this for design wise. I thought these were feathers. No, this is just um grass, or I don't know what plant. I don't know the plants. I'm sorry. Some fern. I like the items though. Is that a bone? It looks like a bone. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. I like the colors, and she has a great outfit. I like the headpiece. So I guess everyone gets her little um head covering the the dry blade. Oh. It's at limit special turn, then minus one. Um, at the start of combat, I mean, start of turn one, grant special cooldown, minus two to unit. At the start of combat, if you... <laughs> okay, just keep... Okay, start of turn one gets that. At the start of combat, if you change HP, zone 20%. For attack speed, plus six to unit during, during combat, and deals damage equal to percent of the unit's speed when special triggers. Okay. So, cool. That seems like it's a good good amount of damage. Special pile on top fist. Simple but effective. I think it's going to be a solid weapon. I like, I guess this is the evolved form of like the Bath Banner, which also is January. So, okay, makes sense. January has a fucking random sort of banners. I, don't, I kind of like the Bath theme too, just because I like the whole onset aesthetic. But I can't, I have to admit, it's it was the units on that one for me, sis. That's why I did not like that banner. I like this art, art for Zane though. Zane looks pretty cool. Oh, I guess, yeah, they all fit the mesh shirt that has... I don't even know if that's that. I don't know if that's just tattoos or like a print. It just I don't. I get nothing from that angle. Also, he looks seven for some reason. Maybe it's underneath the eyes of the blush. But yeah, he look a lot younger in this for some reason. I mean, he does have the desert like parachute hair and pants though, so it makes sense. Um, I like. I think that's a. I want to say this is a similar pose to one of the FE three official arts, but I could be wrong. But yeah, having a staff unit scene sounds pretty interesting. Um, he, I know, I assume he's a demote, right? Yeah. Is Zane still zaning around doing weird things? Foe cannot recover HP during, during or after combat. After combat, if you attack, attacks, deal 7 damage to, to and inflicts deep wounds on target and foes within 2 spaces. Ooh, this is like super pain then. Interesting. I kind of like that, though. That's a pretty good weapon. I mean, especially if you're new to like, pain's... I, okay, when I started this game, my meta unit, quote unquote, was an Elise that had like pain, savage blow, so she'd do 24 damage. Which I guess this is just like, it's a slightly weaker version, but it inflicts deep wounds too. I kind of like that weapon though. I might get it as an inheritable for like if I use a staff unit, because that seems really good. If you can just get this and then savage blow and savage blow again. Like imagine this, but like, kind of with how annoying Kempf is in um ponds of loki like this seems like another annoying staff i kind of like it it sounds like a pain in the ass to go against but you know what at least zane is good i was wondering if you get like a zane gimmick staff because that seemed like it'd be funny but unfortunately not and then is there i i guess i fully just ignore the wings somehow hatari duet you know i'll give them credit or credit to do like lost civilization zane makes a bit of sense in a way um, also, Azura and Leanne both do make sense for the theme. Leanne, I mean, I prefer this with Raphael as a solo unit, because I think it'd make more sense. But, yeah. Also, I have to admit, because, okay, there's one area that's vaguely Hatari thing, because you see wolves. And it's, I mean, I guess it's a little Greek-inspired. I always thought it more as, like, Egyptian, in a way, that one level where you fight. Maybe it was just because that's, like, just like basically ruins. 
that one where you can get the master seal and you fight pain and agony i don't know why i remember their names but i never really got greek from that and that's kind of the only hatari stuff i can think of apart from this is just like desert coliseum this is like the smash bros stage okay this is the smash bros coliseum anyways i know i always thought ozara had a pretty busy design all things considered i'm not never been too crazy over original stuff so i like kind of get toning it down and showing a bit more skin without any like weird parts like these are like i like the top i by the way when where did she get the dragon stone in fates how did she have it and how did it work and then it was just never mentioned again but it's a title screen i don't get it but whatever i mean clowning on fates is it's passe but it's still fun to me I like her little veil over here. That's for her, like, shoulders. That's connected to the top and the hat thing. This is an Azura design I kind of like, because usually I'm not a fan of it, to be honest. Um, Her shoes are a little patchy, but I assume that's by design. Although I can imagine the little toe thong thing that you s most units have on there for, like... They have it on their fingers a lot, all of the mages. You'll see it in, like, Micaiah and stuff. So the toe equivalent, that seems annoying to wear but whatever i don't care she's not a real person i like leanne's design and i like i'm not i have to admit i'm not a fan of the leanne art in heroes right now so i'll take it i think that's pretty cool but yeah i mean it makes sense at least for lost civilizations carla i don't get zane understandable also he still hasn't been able to transform zane needs to get, just get a regular pool as like a three star unit i think it'd be a great shenanigan demo that people can like build up and have memes with um although liana well she's this i mean she feels like the star but also there's just more Leanne because wings than azura also yes it's a it's a three move azura with gray waves grants more of that i know that maybe people are gonna be like well it's this is a legendary cigarette era it's not as good it's still a fucking amazing weapon dancing flames it's tax speed if singer dance is used grants plus six to adjacent allies for one turn as set of combat if unit hp is over this grants more to unit um yeah i think that this is gonna be really good and plus just to, okay so i know with regular legendary azura you can her weapon when you dance it boosts all the stats until like the strongest raised effectively which for me is plus six because i'll like okay just throw fucking hone flyers on her or some other stupid skill. Although just regular hone attack, actually, I didn't think about because it it's plus seven. Hmm. But yeah, it effectively does the same thing. But now she's on a horse and she has Gen Six BST, so she's gonna be very good. Cross spur defense. <laughs> the rest of the skills don't matter. She's a dancer, but I mean, I'm sure that's good fodder. But also, and it gets fury four. That's been there for fucking ever in this game. I do like the combination. I've always just liked this like. Maleficent green into a purple. I just think it looks nice together. I just think it's neat. Also, harmonized skill. Is it just dance? Okay, it looks like just dance. So I'm just gonna skip it. Just dance. Gonna be okay. No, I'm not. You're gonna be really strong in the meta and be really cancerous, but who cares? And then Dean is here. Interesting Dean over Sonia, but I respect it, which does mean that we have another Shadows of Valencia male knocked off. Um. Also, technically, the only other desert themed unit in the banner. I was definitely wrong in my predictions because I was going a little too literal. Rest in peace, Volug. Please join me in voiding him to the top of CYL because I will do this. I will start the conquest. Volug for CYL 6 5. Oh my god, who did this? I'll start the hashtag. I'll create a Twitter.com for this. That isn't just a personal one for liking shit and reposting. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, and subscribe for more wrong predictions and reactions like comment subscribe peace i know i said that twice but whatever it's funny enough to me i hope people think i hope people see that it's a joke and not me doing it literally but honestly at this point